to your anode. Okay. So in that, as the electrons are moving, there you will have the velocity modulation. Okay. You are having the puncture cavity. You are having the catcher cavity. And puncture cavity, we are having the arc input signal that is to be amplified. At catcher cavity, we are getting the amplified RF signal. So we will try to calculate that what will be the velocity of that electron when it is between your puncture and your catcher cavity. Between puncture and catcher cavity, what will be the velocity or what are the different parameters on which the velocity of the electron depends. Okay. Energy can be magnificated, not be destroyed. So here we are considering the potential energy. So potential energy of the electron. Here this capital V naught, this is the potential difference between your cathode and anode. So this is the potential difference or we can say it the voltage. It is your DC voltage. We are giving the DC voltage. This DC voltage is under our control. Generally, we are keeping it around 300 volts DC. We are keeping around 300 volts DC. So, this is your voltage. It's more in the charge of the electron. So, this is your potential energy. And it, when the electron is moving from cathode towards the virtual cavity, then this is the kinetic energy. As you are knowing that when the electron is in rest, it will produce the potential energy and when it will be in motion, it will produce the kinetic energy. So, this is at rest and here, this is in motion. So, energy remains the same. Energy remains the same whether it is in the form of your potential energy or whether it is in the form of your kinetic energy. And here, your M is the mass of the electron. Now just we are trying to calculate that what is the velocity. So what is the velocity of the electron. So from that we are trying to solve it. And here we are getting the velocity of the electron as your square root of 2 small e um, capital B naught by L. Here small e is the charge of an electron. This B naught it is the voltage, DC voltage and M is the mass of the electron. So, if we are solving this, we can calculate that what will be the velocity. Okay. So, this will be the velocity of the electron before reaching the puncture cavity. This you are having before reaching the puncture cavity. So, what is the charge of the electron? Charge is your right point, what is your minus 31 kg. And if you are looking for the charge of the electron, charge of the electron is 1.6 kg per minus 19 kg. If we are substituting the value here for this, just calculate it and uh, your velocity. It depends on your DC voltage only when the electron is from your uh, cathode to before reaching the your uh, puncture cavity. Before reaching the puncture cavity. Okay. Now at your puncture cavity, you will have the RF input signal that is to be amplified. Okay. Now, when your RF signal that is to be amplified is introduced, then we will see that what is the change. Then we will see that the velocity of the electron will also change. Okay. And from that we will calculate that what is that velocity. You are getting it from RF signal. RF weak signal. So if we are solving it, we are getting something like this. Your uh, initial velocity before reaching the puncture cavity. You will see that your V1 uh, is much more less than your V0. Okay. V1 this is the amplitude of your RF signal. This is the amplitude of your RF signal, whereas your this B naught, this is your DC voltage. We have kept nearly 300 volt DC. 
so this is much more greater than your v1 okay and as this is much more greater than this one we can neglect the uh, we can go for the final uh, by uh, final expression that we can neglect the other characters so we can write it as v0 this is the required equation so this is the uh, velocity equation of the electron when it is moving from the buncher cavity and it is propagating towards the catcher cavity so in between you are having the drift space in the drift space you are having that velocity and this velocity this is showing before reaching the buncher cavity so uh, before reaching the buncher cavity your velocity depends only on your this dc voltage and when it is there between your buncher and the catcher cavity then it depends upon these are the different parameters on which it depends upon okay so this is the right it as velocity modulation equation rf signal this is your rf signal here we are seeing that what will be the phase angle phase angle between when it is moving from a zero to your positive positive peak when it is going from zero to positive peak let us assume that when it is zero at the time the time is t not when it is going to a positive peak your time is t1 and that phase angle is denoted as theta the basis modulus so that is equal to your say omega t so this t this time duration this time duration we can write it given by this t not okay and let us assume that this distance is your small d so can we replace this term with your d by v not where v not is the velocity okay so as you are knowing that the speed is equal to distance by time so in that way Uh, this time we can replace it as distance by your velocity so this is the equation uh, say change in phase angle when the electron is accelerated so accelerated from zero to positive peak so this 